What is up, everybody? Brandon Godola here with three of my favorite bets for this week's RBC Canadian Open over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Starting off, I like Cam Smith to pick up another win. We have not seen St. George's host a PGA Tour event since 2010, and in that year, we sort of learned that driving was not the key stat. It was more about the second, third, and fourth shots, and that's good news for Smith, who's definitely a superstar on tour, but one whose driving data does lag behind the other studs. We have a few of those in the field this week. St. George's features a lot of bunkering and undulation, so probably not setting up for a full-on birdie fest, like 20 to 25 under winning score. 14 under one at back in 2010. Smith, of course, can go low, but he can also grind out those pars whenever needed. For me, Smith is the best golfer in the field over the past year. If you remove strokes gained off the tee numbers from the data, weight in recency and field strengths, uh, he's coming in at longer odds than the other studs at, at the top of the field as well. Also like Tyrrell Hatton to pick up a win, an elusive win for him on the PGA Tour. He has a bit of that Cam Smith in his game, namely, uh, he's pretty phenomenal from fairway through green including leading the field in strokes gained putting this season. Hatton also top 25 in strokes gained approach and around the green uh, on the year. Again, just among this field. The scrambling numbers are just about field average for Hatton, but he's a plus bunker player. He's got enough distance to stay relevant on the long par fours this week. Coming in with three top 30s in his past four starts. So an outright or a top 10 play is in the cards for Hatton for this week for me. If I'm sticking with the theme of downplaying off the tee data for this week, that, that bumps up Harold Varner in my model. Varner is in the 95th percentile in this field in adjusted strokes gained whenever we remove the driving stats from that equation. He is in the 88th percentile or better in both scrambling and sand saves over the past 50 rounds on the PGA Tour according to FantasyNational.com. It's a top heavy field that drops up a lot after the studs and that can let us take swipes way down the list. but you're still going to need a pretty complete game to pick up a win at this course with the field looking the way that it does at the top and with the challenge uh, required to score well here. That's why I have interest in Varner, uh, who I'm, I'm also targeting is an outright, yes, but a top 20 finisher as well. That'll do it for my favorite bets for this week's RBC Canadian Open. Best of luck this week. Let's hit a winner.